And I'm here today at the Aberdeen Business School with Executive Chairman Roy McGregor of Global Energy Group. Roy, you've just given the annual Absoft Entrepreneurship Lecture to, um, I think, about 300 students. Um, given the employment shortfall in the oil and gas sector, um, what was your message to graduates uh, here today? Well, there was a number of messages, but I suppose primarily that you know the oil and gas business is here to stay. Uh, it's going to be here as long as their lifetime. Uh, it's still sexy. It's still a career that uh, is very buoyant. It pays well and, and, and can offer great opportunities in travel. Your overseas business is a key and rapidly growing part of the company. But I wonder how optimistic are you for the future of the North Sea itself? At this particular time, we've seen exploration drilling hitting highs again. We have seen some fiscal stability from the government uh, in a way that we haven't seen for particularly a couple of decades. And I think the industry has grown confident that uh, there is investment that can go into the North Sea and is willing to go into the North Sea. And it's interesting, particularly with the advent of the Chinese coming in to participate with both Talisman and Nixon, that we're getting a different face in the North Sea as well. So, you know, these people are not coming to make investments unless they see it as a very good place to do business with uh, both financial and political stability. So I don't think uh, the North Sea has ever been in a better place. So the, the rebirth of the Nig Yard has become as key to the region and become a cornerstone of the Global Energy Group. But how has the uh, acquisition of the yard affected uh, your growth plans? Well, you know, as someone that actually was there in the beginning in 71 and, you know, was involved in hiring the first couple of thousand people. So, you know, I've watched uh, all stages of uh, the NIG Yard's development and demise. And uh, I'm really excited uh, about its position, its location and its opportunity in a multi energy sector environment and that goes from oil and gas uh, right through uh, the new renewable opportunity and I think it's it's up for us as a business to get the excitement that we have over to uh, particularly uh, the industry so I think it's a remarkable remarkable exciting time and uh, and could be a beacon in light for the whole Highland region Roy, you've described yourself in the past as being a conservative when it comes to the, uh, the funding of your business with a very low emphasis on debt. Um, I wonder, with the huge growth opportunities that your group has been faced with, um, has that attitude changed over recent years? The money that is available to be invested at very, very low interest rates has never been better in this economy, and the opportunities uh, for consolidation again are as, are, are as good as they will ever be. So probably I've softened a wee bit, um, but still see myself slightly conservative as far as the risk taking, because I have a responsibility to four and a half thousand people. And if I make the wrong decisions, I'm affecting four and a half thousand families and, and wider families. So I take that responsibility seriously and don't want to put their lives uh, or the company's lives at risk. So. I'm afraid I'm a Presbyterian Scotsman that is still slightly conservative. Roy, thank you very much for your time speaking to Energy Online at the Press and Journal.